Hi, everyone, and welcome. Happy Saturday, you guys. You are watching Movie Couple Live, where we talk about the latest in uh, movies and pop culture news. I'm Wendy. I'm Dustin. And hey, again, welcome to our live stream. So today, we got a fun show for you guys, fun stuff lined up. We're going to be talking about Deathstroke joining, possibly, uh, Zach's The Snyder Cut. And we're also going to be talking about Tom Holland as Nathan Fillion. Oh, no, as... Nathan <laughs> Fillion? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Tom Holland two. as Nathan Drake. There we go. And Scarlett Johansson to star in Bride and so much more. So thank you all for being here. Thanks for hanging out. That was that was great. Yeah, it was. It was. It, I mean, it kind of fits. I mean, for how many years have we been going? We want Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake. Many. Many years. Many, many, many years. So. But, you know, it's one of those slip of the tongues that, you know, it's kind of understandable and also, you know, kind of necessary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, so we'll get into all of that in just a little bit. And I just realized that I literally did not change any of our uh, thing on the bottom. So this is what you're going to see on the bottom today. You're going to just yep. see that or, or maybe this because I totally for I did everything else and I didn't do that. So uh, it's totally fine. Uh, oh, we have a... We have a super chat already. Thank you Woo! so much to Marvin. Marvin. Marvin, thank, thank you, you so much, man. And also, uh, I know we are we're broadcasting. The majority of you guys watch on uh, YouTube, but we also do broadcast to Twitch. And you can find us if you have Twitch, if you like Twitch, if you watch Twitch, if you go on Twitch. I don't know. Uh, we are at twitch.tv slash the movie couple. And let's go ahead and get to Marvin Martin's super chat. Marvin, thank you so much. They did not do Tomb Raider justice with the film. Do you think they'll actually try a little with Uncharted? Hmm. Short answer is yes. And Marvin, I hope you stick around because I want to answer that when we get to the Tom Holland stuff. Uh, and also uh, for, but I, so I hope you stick around, but if you don't put that in the comments, so we, because I want to make sure I answer your question while you're still here, since you sent in a, a super chat. Um, and just before we get a kind of any of the uh, news topics underway, I wanted to go ahead and talk about some of the latest stuff that's happening on our channel. We have new trailer reactions up. We have one that was up earlier today for The Prom. Mm -hmm. we have this looks like a really cute musical. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, that's not what they did. But they did Fosse hands. They did Fosse hands. Uh, we have a trailer reaction for All My Life, where if you want to witness me turning into a stoppy mess, crying uh that's the trailer to watch we also did one for animania yes animania the full trailer which is i'm so excited this so is so much fun this, that trailer just made me even more excited to see this series from whoever i else. can't wait though a lot of the uh people who are comment uh, not a lot but a few of the people who are commenting on that video did say that not all the segments are coming back uh, for like obviously we know we're getting pinky of the brain because yeah he it, but they said slappy isn't coming back Aww. which makes me sad because that was my favorite slappy was my favorite so now i'm hoping for at least good idea bad idea yeah and the wheel of morality i also liked was it they had mind time which was really funny wasn't that the same mind that's in good idea bad idea no oh. it's a very similar mind oh but the my well the my, I mean, good idea bad idea was a skeleton kind mm -hmm. of looking character mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. mind time was actually a mind kind okay. of thing and it usually always ended with something really heavy falling on the mind yeah okay so like the mind would be like climb like pulling I a rope and then a truck would be oh, God. i don't remember that at all um, in other news, Wendy is able to get a haircut today. Yay! I am so happy. I've She's had been this... looking forward to this for months. And we've just been waiting because the place I normally go to has been closed. And then when they did open, like I was kind of a chicken about it. So uh, booked one for today. It's later in the afternoon. So the next time you see me in a live stream, I don't want to say video because we do have pre-recorded stuff. Yeah. But the next time you see me in like a regular uh, live stream, then you will... Um, see me with a it's a uh -oh, different hairstyle perhaps. it's just going to be shorter she's going to go with the pixie look i don't, or the I pixie don't, look I don't like... know yet i don't know yet she, the hairdresser she's like bring me some pictures of what you want and i was like okay great so i was on pinterest last night and they all are different looks oh so different lengths so you're, you're like i don't know if i want this one this one or this one it's like wendy you have to choose she's one. gonna with the pair of scissors in her hand pick a style <laughs> just pick one what's so hard about it uh, we also have a super chat from Banja. Wait, where'd Wait, it go? Wait, why isn't it popping up on there, the there, 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 there. feed? No, no, that's... no, no oh, there, there it is. is. Okay, sorry. 
Manja, hey. oh, oh yeah. my gosh, Manja, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. That's right. Manja had to re- our movie bunch had to remind us of, of our <laughs> of our achievements. Thank you so much, Manja, for your awesome super chat donation. Thank you thank so you. much. Happy 33K. We Ooh. hit 33,000 subscribers. The goal this year was to hit 35K. The long-term goal, obviously, is to get to that 100,000. Exactly. Um, fingers crossed. So if you're here, if you're watching the video, you enjoy what we do, and you and you enjoy just watching the two of us hang out. And if you enjoy hanging out with us, playing games and talking pop culture and news topics, uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, a little like. really helps us a lot. The algorithm likes that. Okay. Questions from Vanja. Um, would you like a RoboCop versus Terminator 2? <gasps> Actually, just Terminator. if you ever want to see a really good series, there's a series, um, an animated, I guess you can kind of say animated series on uh, YouTube called Death Battles. And they take popular um, pop culture icons and they do kind of like a matchup. Well, they fr- these two guys will first talk about um, like their strengths and weaknesses, and then they will actually go out and actually have like an animated fight between the two. Ooh. It's a really good series. Okay. Um, but yeah, and they did a Terminator versus RoboCop. Wow. So who won? Wait, don't I don't say don't, don't say remember it. who won in the because a cartoon because I think so it's um, like a short film. It's no, it's like each episode's like 20, 25 minutes, something around there. So it's mm-hmm. kind of like so it's kind of like, you know, a t like a TV show. Um okay. but it is it is violent. Um, which is makes it a lot the of fun. Pop, the like they had like violent. one was uh, Pikachu versus Blanca from uh, Street Fighter. Uh, yeah. So. Oh, I think I know what you. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, also, uh, Vanja writes, "Would you read a continuation of Predator One and Two? Because I almost finished it." Also, I want Scarlett Johansson to be my wife. I want her to be my wife. Too. No offense, but uh, she's hot. She's hot uh yeah thank you so much vanja uh predator one and two would you want a continuation would you read a continuation or would you want i would you read is it a book um I don't if know, it I know was a movie. We if it was we didn't know would i want to see continuation well they've done a whole bunch of <sighs> different versions of predator they did a couple aliens versus predator they did what is it the one where they actually took um the people so like some of the people and put them on the planet with the predators yeah. and i think it was called predators and it was just plural that one was okay there right? was another uh, i think there was another one that recently came out or at least there were talks about a new one that was coming out uh-huh. and um i don't remember actually i don't mm-hmm. i don't remember hearing much more about it so i'm kind of like did it already come out and it just bombed mm-hmm. or did it um or was it just not that good or was it just something that still hasn't come out yet okay kind of a thing uh oh wait i think i'm misreading vanja's statement would you read a continuation of predator one and two because i'm almost finished it i think he's writing it oh Ooh, i mean if you're down to share you can drop it in our discord uh always happy to always happy to read you know work only if you're only if you're willing uh so yeah uh how do i and it's always cool you know honestly some of the coolest stuff um is some fan fiction that actually like follows the path of like the original fan um what is it called like some of the oh, some of our favorite movies yeah. some of our favorite comics to be like hey you know what would have happened if we took it in this direction or instead of aliens 3 they actually did something that would actually have continued off of the story that we had from Alien and Aliens. Um, Not none of that stuff. None of that. Just like a straight up, like you're talking about, just like a straight up. Where, as in, like Aliens Three never happened. Like oh. Aliens Three, Aliens Four, Alien Resurrect, or all of the other ones never happened. So many. And it was just, hey, let's try to retell this story that everyone was so excited to hear yeah. that kind of got that, you know, some people were kind of disappointed in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, and I love hearing that because what is it? I've heard some, um, what is it? When the, um, what, uh, uh, the prequels for Star Wars came out, someone did a video called, what if the prequels were good? And he kind of dres- now, to don't some get wrong, people they are good. To some people it, they are amazing and that's awesome. And there were some people who were disappointed by it. So what this guy did was he kind of broke it down and kind of like, hey, what happens if we tweak just a few little things here and there? Mm-hmm. And I love it when 
fans do that. They just have that passion. And they're like, I want to tell a story too yeah. of something that I am just so much in love with. Yeah, I mean, I'd be interested in reading it. A, a movie Bunch Debbie is also interested. She says, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, that would be interesting to read. Yes, so we would. That would be 100% <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Vanja. We, that we're, we're so appreciative. Thank you, thank you. Thank and who you would so win much. between RoboCop and Terminator? Um, I think Terminator. I think the Terminator would. He's called the Terminator. True, and he's also a little bit more. I think he would be a little bit more resilient. Yeah. And the thing is, though, there's a lot of things that RoboCop has done, like in the cartoons and in the comics, mm-hmm. that give him like super pop. Like he is like super um, overpowered in some of the comic books and mm-hmm. some of the. Um, uh, some of the cart, the cartoons kind yeah, of a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To where if you're going off of that genre and that re- and that uh, continuity, then I think RoboCop would win. But just the generic, you know, super killer robot, the Terminator. Mm-hmm. There's n- there's no really like organic weakness. Okay. From it, so I think the Terminator Scary. would have a little bit more of an advantage over RoboCop in that case. Yeah, agreed. And there, you, there's our long-winded answer. But thank you so much for your great questions, and we we love talking about Terminator and RoboCop and all that stuff. Like, grew up on that stuff, right? Uh, let's see what other announcements do we have. Oh, we watched The Witches 2020. Oh yeah, uh, the newer one last night on HBO Max. So expect a review out for that. And yes, we're still late to it, even though the series is over. But it is coming. Our final thoughts. Uh, on uh, episode 10 of Lovecraft Country as well, well as the overall series, which is, I mean, it's two thumbs amazing, up Amazing, yeah. Such an amazing series. If you haven't watched it, you should. Um, so that's what we'll do. And today we are also uh, back by popular request. We're playing the Blockbuster Party Game today on the show. We're playing just the... Just the the sequel today because it was easier to it's smaller and more compact <laughs> but uh yeah so stick around for that we're getting to that towards the end of uh our stream so for our news flash two kind of interesting topics so i don't know if you guys are fans of like mcdonald's ice cream and mcflurries i sure. sometimes do indulge i haven't really i've gone to mcdonald's once during this quarantine and i think that's gonna be it for me I, yeah i dusted my eggs by you got chicken the spicy nuggets from, chicken nuggets and it was just it was just not a good just experience okay. it was just they didn't give me the sauce they didn't offer the sauce i didn't know there was a special sauce that went with the mcdonald's they gave you actually nuggets. like one of every sauce except for the spicy one, nugget sauce one of every all, all the all the rain all the colors in the rainbow but the one that it, maybe they're supposed to come with it i don't know i don't know so uh won't be getting those again i would just i'm rather stick to regular chicken nuggets and i'll just put buffalo sauce on it chicken they nuggies have it. chicken nuggies but we we have like the ones that we buy from the store that we heat up and it, it tastes just fine i prefer that it's cheaper too but one of the things that was absolutely incredibly amusing about mcdonald's recently was a twitter stream a twitter um thread thread thank you yeah was a twitter thread that they had with some multiple different i guess big company um big organization uh twitter uh, accounts yeah so basically every uh, major corporations such as a McDonald's or Wendy's or Burger King is run by a social media person or team. And I found this just so random and so funny that they, that and now it's pinned to the McDonald's Twitter. And it says uh, right now, if you, so if you have Twitter, go onto the McDonald's uh, Twitter right now. And it says, it's always, when is the McRib coming back? And never, how are you doing the person who runs McDonald's account? And I <laughs> laugh because I know so many people who work in social media, who do handle social media accounts for various companies and clients. And I felt this. And in a way, I felt a little seen because working with Dorian when I was with Collider, like I, I would watch him, you know, like people think social media managers, oh, you just get to be on your phone, Facebook, Instagram all day. I was like, it's not just that. It looks like you're doing nothing. You're trying to multitask and there's a lot to think about. There's algorithm and it's a whole thing. You ask Dorian, um, he'll, he'll tell you <laughs> the, the man worked hard. And then so following that thread in reply, uh, Target replied, how are you doing person who runs a McDonald's account? XOXO, the person who runs the Target account. And McDonald's wrote back, thank you, Target. I love you. <laughs> And then Instagram, of course, jumped in and said, felt that, sending all the love, fries, and burgers. And then McDonald's wrote back, be right back, uh, BRB, sharing this to my story. And then Ulta Beauty jumping in, like three very different platforms, right? Mm -hmm. Target, 
Instagram, Alta Beauty. We feel this McDonald's. We'd love to send you a self-care package. Send us a DM. <laughs> I just can't. This is this is like this is quality content on Twitter that I'm here for. This is worth going down the rabbit hole of scrolling. So just wanted to bring that kind of to note because I thought it was so funny. Hey, shout out to Kevin who was watching us on Twitch. Thank you so much for joining Ooh, in. Hey Kevin. Ooh, hey Kevin. Uh, all right. And uh, in other McDonald's news, there is a website, independently run a website called uh, McBroke. And that tracks basically if the ice cream machine in the McDonald's near you is broken or working. Really important for a lot of people as, you know, if you're like me, you like to to indulge in a little McFlurry and a little, and a little uh, food and stuff someday. Oh, look, I'm so happy I have um, my Twitch open because I can, how do I get rid of this person? I don't want to reply. How do I, how do I, how do I, how do I? Uh, technology. How do I get rid of you? <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I honestly, not? this is something that more and more fast food restaurants need. Oh, I'm on the wrong account. So you That's can why. tell whether or not what your favorite fast food restaurants are able to serve yeah. when you're actually going to a fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. So being able to know that if, oh, at this McDonald's, there is now their ice make uh, their um ice cream machine is broken. People get like upset. They get real upset. Well, you used to work at McDonald's for your I first did. job many, 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 many. I years. did when I was a youngling. <laughs> <laughs> when and I yet, was a wee old thing. I know. And what is it? There's even videos out on social media showing about how mad people get in the um drive-thru, where yeah. they're like, what is it? There's that one woman that someone redubbed. And she was like, don't make me take my ultimate form. And she was like trying to bust down the fast food window. Guys, it's not worth it. Okay? And I'm the like, workers don't get paid enough to deal with food. your crap. Yeah, don't exactly. Do, don't, don't do that. Don't do I that. Mean, if anything, you should have simple, I mean, so much sympathy for people who have to work with crap customers, mm -hmm. crap environments for crap pay. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, cut them a break. Cut them a break for real. Um, And thank you to Blade GTR writing in our Twitch uh chat uh if you have a chance a couple of moderators on twitch if you get it yeah we are we are definitely working on it i actually don't know how to go about and do that so there there will be some research but if you have tips please drop them in the chat so i can go ahead we can go ahead and read it thank you so much marvin martin writes karen's in chat <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys uh moving on so uh, other news in our news flash no time to die the upcoming james bond movie there is uh, supposedly they're exploring like a six hundred million dollar streaming deal. So, uh, <clears throat> according to an article on Variety, uh, streaming services such as Apple, Netflix, and others have explored the possibility of acquiring No Time to Die. So the movie was slated to come out well earlier this year. Yeah. Uh, uh, now and it's it been got delayed bumped, to, it got bumped back to April. Yeah, to 2021 due to the pandemic. So insiders at rival companies said that a possible deal was explored and that MGM was at least open to the possibility of a pricey sum. And the studio was said to be looking at a roughly $600 million deal. And then a spokesperson for MGM said, quote, we do not comment on rumors. The film is not for sale. The film's release has been postponed until April 2021 in order to preserve the theatrical experience for moviegoers. So obviously everything's always a rumor until confirmed or exactly. until we see it happen. That's, as, you know, if you're seeing it happening, then that's pretty much your confirmation. <laughs> so, but what do we think? Because... I don't think it's hard to kind of come to that sort of a rumor or conclusion of something that this is a possibility because we've seen many other studios go the route of streaming service. Right. Yeah, you know, so like, what, what do we think? And what do you guys think about the possibility of no time to type going in the ways of streaming service? Honestly, I think it's a very interesting concept. Now I don't really think that it's going to happen to no time to die. No. I think that this just brought up a very interesting topic mm -hmm. um, because, you know, with the fact that uh, things are getting worse here in the United States, cases and deaths and hospitalizations are all going up and we just started the fall, which means movie, um, movie theaters are not going to be opening anytime mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. So what happens now? How are movies that have already been made, wanted to come out, how are they actually gonna make their money? And it would make sense that they're like, okay, hey guys, um, Netflix, Hulu, uh, HBO, all of these other streaming services, Apple, yep. are all like, okay, hey, 
we have a movie. We have a new James Bond movie. We want to make six hundred million dollars. If you got, if all of you guys chip in a certain amount, we end up getting six hundred million dollars. You now have the rights to stream it on whatever service that you offer. So, I mean, because then those movies, then what is it? The studios know that they've made the money that they need. So, and it's not going to be like a random roll of the dice. Yeah. Now, also the risk of this movie, like say if this movie flops, is now split not just between the studio, but between Netflix, Hulu, HBO, Apple, is now, so you now spread out the risk. You do kind of cut back on the rewards a little bit, but right now I think a lot of studios and a lot of um, big executive heads are looking for more security and less, let's break the box office kind of a thing. Yeah. Well, the, the thing the thing with going back to the theaters is that some theaters are open. In fact, I saw a tweet, I think, by AMC Theaters saying that most of their theaters are open. Um, that's not the ones that are here. That's there. We have we've got a couple of AMCs that are near us. I don't believe any of them are open. Um, and also, if they are open, you have to also bet on the audience are going to show up for your film. And some people like us were still very wary of the virus and being in an enclosed space, even with masks on for for a long uh, amount of time. So, so th there there's those two factors, right? And I think a film such as like a big tentpole movie, such as James Bond, No Time to Die. We guys, we saw the trailer. It's fantastic. That is, and we said this about Tenet too, like we wanted to go and see it in theaters. And a lot of people actually made the trek down to Orange County to be able to go to a theater and watch it. We didn't do that. Um, but just like how Tenet didn't go the ways of um, streaming, I feel like no Time to Die will do the same thing. That is not a movie that should be just released directly to streaming. It should get a theatrical release. Yeah. So if it means delay to April or even if they push it later into like June, so be it. Yeah. Uh, that's not the kind of movie that that's that's a direct to screen, no matter how expensive, how good the deal is. Because you're looking at how much they had to pay Daniel Craig to be in this movie. Exactly. Plus all the other A-listers. That are that are in the movie, like and the production value and the stunts and all the money that went into it's it's just I I think they the profit just wouldn't balance out at all. And you know it's one of those things that you're just gonna have things are gonna change incredibly because now that a lot of these movie theaters are going under, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. AMC's going under, Regal's going, I mean all of them. So that means there's going to be something new to take their place yeah, yeah, yeah. and there is going to be a point when things do get back to normal yeah. it might be a year two years two, one or two years from now mm -hmm. but sooner or later people are going to want to go back to the movies yeah so now you have this opportunity for these studios and for consumers to be like no 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 no. this is what we want this is how we want to be able to watch movies now we want to be able to see them in theaters or at home or at a drive-in um, give us some more options. And I'm really curious on what's going to sprout from this ground, so to speak. Yeah. You know, we kind of just, it's kind of like we've just had this incredible wildfire uh. and so, or something that just wiped everything out. And now it's mm -hmm. like, okay, mm -hmm. we now get to start from ground zero on rebuilding new, not new movie theaters, but, you know, a new movie theater experience, yes. new rules, new agreements, all of the, because what is it? We know that <laughs> thanks to AMC, there's a you know there's a very detailed contract on what studios are allowed to do with their movies. Oh, because of the the thing at the beginning of the, the pandemic, yeah. Yep. So now, I mean, if, if people weren't aware of before, they definitely are now that there is mm -hmm. a time period between when a film premieres in uh, gets a theatrical release and when it is released on on home release. And that, I, that number has been around for a long time. I don't think it's changed up until like very recently because we all have to adapt yeah. with 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 the time. So Debbie, uh, movie couple, movie couple, sorry, movie bunch, Debbie brings up a good point and she writes, but what if it does go down, go streaming and then when the theaters reopen, then bring it back to the screen? Sure, that's definitely an option. But I also worry about uh, the people who saying, yeah, 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 I'm definitely going to go see it. And then later be like, well, I already spent $25. On, on or twenty four ninety nine renting the film. Or, yeah. It's not that expensive to to rent the film, right? No, well, it depends on what they decide to do. Mulan if they rent was it, thirty, which was used. It was a lot. That was a lot. I mean, normally for a I two thought, person household. 
I normally thought it was going to be like 1999 to stream it. Yeah. Um, but you know, I guess if they do, um, I think if you stream it and then try to open it up in the theaters, you're going to have a big problem. You're going to have not. It's, I don't think it's going to be worth them for to do it. But they've already pushed the um, release date for James Bond mm -hmm. until April 2021. Yeah, and that's a, that's a bit away, so we can see where where we are. And every every day, every day is different, guys. Every day is different. So. For the time being, let's just hope that, you know, uh, No Time to Die stays in theater, stays on its release date, and that we can all safely go back to the theater in April 2021 yep, to yep. see the movie because there's nothing nothing I would want more. Um, next up in our... But Adam oh, actually mentioned something okay. very interesting. Gotta go back. Okay. And that is, yeah, ever since Trolls, because for the longest time... So we, we're going to just, so real quick, read, read Adam's thing. Um, and Adam wrote, oh. uh, after that whole Trolls World Tour fiasco, theaters are very much going to try and push back such releases. Sorry, it's just to, to have, uh, so so the audience had Context. an idea. Yes. But yeah, I mean, honestly, that's something that Trolls did. They were like, they made it so it was not as far-fetched to do something, to put your movie out on streaming to make a profit. They were very much, there's no way this is going to work. This is, we're not, we're, we just have to get some money from this. And they were pleasantly surprised and everyone was kind of like oh they this were the is the first now. to do it right they were the yeah, very were first, the first ones to do it. very first ones to do it so it's interesting you know now that all these some experiments have been done they've yeah. tested out um putting movies out in drive-ins they've done some streaming they've done you know okay let's just um have a premium version of the movie come out on streaming so it's interesting and i'm curious to see what sprouts like i said from from all of this going on and from this entire almost, what is it, it's entire um, corporate re shake up kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. It's, um, I can't remember, I can't think of the correct word. Corporate shake up? Not a corporate shake up, but a, um, what is that called? Like uh, the, I can't think of it. My okay. brain's, my brain's dead. My apologies. That's a, well, I mean, corporate shake up, I guess it's a, it's a, as good of a, description as any i guess mm -hmm. uh and then also moving on to our our final topic in just the news flash section so the snyder cuts justice league reshoots we will probably it looks like we're gonna see joe manganello's uh death stroke and this is an article on collider uh and it's as an exclusive that and it says like i mean like the literally the first sentence joe manganello will reprise his role as death stroke for zack snyder's justice league um, and it says that earlier this week, uh, Hollywood Reporter reports the uh, reshoots ha are underway and they're reshooting with Ben Affleck, Ray Fisher, Amber Heard. Um, and then we just learned that Jared Leto is, is now going to be added as the Joker. We talked about that in our previous live stream. So Meganello is a little bit different. So we saw, if you saw Justice League, you, we saw him at, the, at an end scene. Mm -hmm. uh, post post credit scene or mid credit scene, and when the Snyder cut was when the Snyder cut was first announced, Joe Manganiello promised his fans on Instagram that it would include the original post credit scene, which means that probably there was bits that were cut out. There were there were more to it, um, and uh, their source, Collider source. Uh, said that uh, Maganella will be returning to the set for additional shooting. Now, a, a rep for HBO Max did not confirm this, um, but there was a photo uh, of the actor, of Joe Maganello, uh, on Twitch this week, and he was sporting the white short, like that same haircut mm -hmm. as Slade Wilson. And, and the I, eye patch? And the eye, well, he's not wearing an eye patch in the in the photo that they took. Oh. But Slade Wilson himself does have an awesome looking, man, he looks so good. He looks so good. This is not the photo that's floating around. This isn't, this is the photo from literally the yeah, the, from the, the post credit scene. scene. So just don't want you guys to get confused. But the photo that that's kind of floating around is is you know Joe Manganiello rock, rocking like the white short hair. So it it's making it seem like uh, he did go back for some for some reshoots reshoots. And honestly, if he's if there's additional footage of Deathstroke, great. Oh yeah, I would love great. to see some Deathstroke. I would love in it. This. I would love I would to see that. Love to see Joe Manganiello as Deathstroke. I mean, when they showed it um at the end credits, I was like, I want to see more of this. Yeah. I can't wait for them to give us some more. Mm -hmm. And then you know, 
and th- and then we know what happens. But now we're getting, you know, the Snyder Cut. There's going to be four mm-hmm. one-hour episodes. So uh, I I would love to see I would love to see it all happen and then all come together. Mm-hmm. And and also you know the fact that was we talked about. Um, uh, Jared Leto, yeah, coming back as the Joker. Um, I'm trying to remember because it's been a while since I've seen that end credit scene. It's been a while. It's actually him, uh, Deathstroke, talking to the Joker, isn't it? Or is he talking I to somebody else? Remember. And then I'm like, uh. but anyways, I would, I mean, it would explain why those two are coming back because yeah. um, Zack Snyder did intend for them to have bigger roles. Oh, let me rephrase that. To actually, Lex Luthor. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. That's who it was. But yeah, but to see um, th- for these characters to have more than what they were given. Yeah. I really do yep, believe yep, yep, yep. that I'm super excited to see it. And um, I'm glad to hear that they're doing these pickup shots. Yeah. So um, if he if he's great, if he's in it, great. Uh, if not, then he will be missed for sure. Because he just looks so cool. And I and I really would love to to get to see more of him. And we'll, we'll all find out next year when it releases on HBO Max. Woohoo! Oh. We have, before we jump into our news flash, let's get to Chris's choice, you guys. Chris's choice. Thank you, Chris. All right, for today's Chris's choice, besides Adam Warlock, who do you think or who else would you like to see in Guardians of the Galaxy 3? Ooh, that's tough. Um, Because honestly, yeah, the one that I really want to see is Adam Warlock because they kind of left that on like, a we all thought we were gonna get to see him in the second one. Yeah, we all thought that. Well, we thought I was um, waiting for we like maybe we were, an end credit. It was an end credit scene at the end of the second one that that gold lady was um like uh, I call him Adam, and we're like Adam Warlock, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, all the fans ah, lose their mind. But um oh okay, a couple that's, of really good at uh, the very very bottom. Uh, okay, the very so bottom. this is from uh Francisco uh. Oh gosh, I'm gonna Maderina, Maderena. Oh wait, I lost it. Uh, Francisco writes, uh, "Beta Ray Bill." I would Beta love Ray Bill. to see Beta Ray Bill, and Beta Ray, Beta Ray Bill would probably fit. Yeah. Um, however, I think they will save Beta Ray Bill for Thor. Mm-hmm. Um, what is it? Love and Thunder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and Stardew just wrote this in from Twitch. Beta Ray Bill, the horse Thor. Mm-hmm. Parentheses rumor. <laughs> Oh, and I love his character. Beta Ray Bill is so cool. And yeah, his yeah. his backstory of him just being the last trying to save his save his species mm-hmm. and he's worthy of being able to lift Mjolnir. Mjolnir, Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Even though there's now no Mjolnir to for him to prove that he was worthy. That was something that made um Thor trust him was the fact that he was oh, you're worthy of Mjolnir. Yeah. Well. So, but uh yeah, it was, um Adam Warlock, Beta Ray Bill is a really good one. Um, we're I'm interested to see what they do with Gamora. I because know. it is a different Gamora. I know. It I isn't the one that even. we've that we yeah. have seen and gone through for a while. Yeah, I don't know that we've how. been with. <sighs> Same thing with Loki, because you know Loki is a different Loki now. So the original. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, we we will see. Man, uh that's that's interesting. Gamora is the one that I would honestly love to see return because I loved her performance and I just I just loved her. Well, in she's gonna have to be there, but she's gonna be. It's gonna be so different. Yeah, you know, it's gonna be a, a different. You know, she's she's probably not going to have that relationship with Star Lord. We don't know what kind of relation. Like there there are so many unknown factors. I have no idea. Um, Adam also wrote in a couple of people that are really interesting. So first he said Howard the Duck, and no, I'm not joking. <laughs> honestly, oh. That actually, Guardians of the Galaxy is perfect to have a little bit more of Howard the Duck mm-hmm. because I know they like what is it? He was in an end credit scene, um, and they had him like the in there for a second. Yeah, he was in, uh, in there for the a second scene. with the collector. But um, yeah, to, sh- to actually have Howard the Duck have like not like a little bit more than just a cameo. Yeah. Maybe they go to a planet and they're like they're looking for someone who knows some information. And it's Howard the Duck that has the information. So he's like one of those, uh, what is it, second act characters that help move them into the third act kind yeah. of a thing. Yeah, That would be a really fun um, character to have in there. And yes. fits very well with the, um, what is that called? With just the, the um, craziness of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. And then a couple of other people writing in from the chat. Uh, let's see. Adam wrote Moon Dragon, who is Drax's daughter. Oh, that 
that would be cool. That I that I would want. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of, uh, I am seeing a lot of. Uh, let's see, Karen Gillan. I think I'm pretty well, sure we, she's coming back. And I'm pretty sure all of the original characters are still coming back. We're like, I'm sure we're going to see Star Lord, mm-hmm. uh, Gamora, Drax, uh, the original. Groot. Groot. I wonder at Full what age. Because now he's Groot. teenage Groot. Yeah, so he's now going to be, he's probably now going to be full, back to full oh, grown group. How, many pa- how much time has passed. Or he's going to be like, uh, what is that called? Young adult, not teenage Groot, but now what is that? I guess, yeah, young adult. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. he's going to be now 18 year old Groot. He's, he's going to be a college age. College age Groot. Oh my God, like frat party, frat party Groot. <laughs> yes, uh, that'd be that, so funny. I think that'd be hilarious. Oh yeah! Oh, it's great discussions, you guys. Great Even though I do miss Baby Groot. Baby Groot, Baby Groot, Groot was so cute. Remember when he threw up and then Blah. Barry and I laughed for five minutes after that scene. You guys were laughing about that after you came out of the movie. <laughs> it was just so unexpected because he was like, "Ha, ah, blah. blah," like Navi today. Ha, mm. nah. We took Navi to the vet um, just for uh, a bit of a, a bit of a checkup. You know, she's she's got. Maybe, maybe some what? Maybe oh, some I'm stuff sorry. happening. My eyes, my eyes occasionally go through um, the chat, and um, something that Adam said at the very um, close to the top, right here. Mojo. Mojo will, will will likely. This is what Adam wrote. Mojo will likely appear in something X Men related, but considering it is James Gunn, I wouldn't rule that out along with Arcade. And oh, Mojo Ooh. and Arcade are two amazing X Men villains. Oh, yeah. um, it would be fun for them to be introduced in Guardians of the Galaxy or just to kind of make a little bit of a cameo. Like they mentioned Planet Mojo. Yeah. So that they can, so if they ever do have, um, when they start having their own X-Men movies and their own X-Men adventures, they can bring in Mojo. And that's, I think that's a really fun character to bring in. Arcade is a really fun- They can pack the cast Mm -hmm. because they don't have to stay. They can move on with, with other things that, you know, on their on their own journey yeah you know but they can come in and and hang out with the core like this is like like avengers sort of in, yeah in, but in space uh yeah uh da, da, da. oh and by the way adam wanted to to point out the mojo stuff i completely credit to marvin marvin martin um i was just bouncing off of him nice no nice. marvin got it cool i nice. mean honestly i i just love seeing because there's some things where I'm like, oh, come on, I know some characters that I would love to see. And it's not until someone mentions it that I'm like, yes, yes. that's right. Yes. Guardians, like the whole kind of universe around Guardians, it's still pretty new to me. I know what is in the movies. I don't know as much as like like, like someone like Schnepp would have known about Guardians of the Galaxy who was like really into the comic books. Like I'm not as, like you are far more knowledgeable probably. And, and I'm still Guardians. nowhere near as sweaty. So like I would call myself like the noob, <laughs> you know, even like I, I know what the movie has has told us and, and that's pretty much it. So it's kind of nice to to. And I've kind of graduated elementary school nerdiness to where I have a little bit of nerdiness under my belt. So I would be baby Groot when it, when it comes to knowledge for <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, you'd be teenage Groot. Yep. And yeah. Schnepp would have been like the, Adult. the old age group. Yeah, the, the wise knowing all, mm-hmm. knowing all group. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and because we got we gotta play the we gotta play the, the the blockbuster game. So we're gonna go ahead and go through some of our main topics uh, now. And the first one up is Pachingo. And you're wondering what what is what is Pachingo? Well, let me show you one of the leads in Pachingo. So Apple has announced the cast for Pachingo the series, um, and is set to begin production on uh october uh, what did i write october 26 i guess this this month so this is an adaptation of the novel by min jing lee and it chronicles the hopes and dreams of four generations of a korean immigrant family the the story journeys between korea japan and america to tell the story of war and peace love and loss triumph and reckoning and the story is going to be told in korean japanese and english so the cast the cast includes k-drama superstar Lee Min ho who is up on your screen right now he will be playing hansu jing ha will play solomon uh anna i'm gonna say her last name incorrectly so i apologize in advance uh anna sawe will play naomi ming ha kim will play teenage sunja and soji arai will star as uh Mosazu, and then finally we have Kaho uh, Minami to play. Uh, it's either Etsuko or Itsuko. So I am super excited about this, not only because it's uh, an all Asian cast, but Lee Ming Ho. 
Like my probably hands down favorite uh, Korean actor. Wendy. Is, oh yeah. Wendy watched all of City Hunter and oh, she was. Oh, City she, Hunter. And also, um, what is it? You're in the middle of watching. I'm almost um, done. The King Eternal Monarch. The King Eternal Monarch. Wendy loves her Korean dramas. I do. There are so many more. Like Crash Landing on You is fantastic. Um, oh, what's the one with the food at the bar? At the bar? Oh no. You forget which one that yes. was. Yes. Well, there's, I mean, and so to see a production like this get put together to where they're focusing on just this great story of, you know, pretty much what we all are, which are immigrants to America. Yeah. I mean, or yeah. for us here in America, either you're an immigrant, you were, um, you come from slaves, or you're Native American. So those are the only three options that you get, kind of a thing. <laughs> And I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. to see a story like this be told, where it kind of tells all of these different stories, but they all kind of share the whole story of of coming to America, kind of a thing. Oh my God, it's not it's not showing up. The one, the um, one that I the with the with the guy who took over his dad's bar. Oh, okay. Now I remember which one you're talking about. I don't remember the I'm name. I'm seeing of it. I'm seeing all these other ones that I have seen before: Crash Landing on You, Vagabond. Hyena, uh, hyena, come on, money game. It's not money game. It's not no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I'm gonna have to find out. Okay, okay. But uh, I am really, really excited for this. This oh, and the Kingdom season two. Come on, the heirs, which I believe Lee Min Ho is also a part of. Oh my God, I can't find it. <laughs> I can't find it. It's okay. I mean, we'll get it's back to it. It's not okay. <laughs> it's one of Wendy's. I mean, she watched. Okay. All, I mean, she was constantly going, Dustin, Dustin, let me tell you about this because I know you're not going to sit down and watch it. It's y'all. It's so okay. Fine, forget it. It's it's so it's so good. Uh, but um, this this is really exciting, and I and I love that they're doing like a like a book to screen adaptation, book to TV adaptation, which means uh, I get to download another book to my Audible. I'm I'm about at the halfway point for Lovecraft Country. So once that's done, this one just got kind of got moved up the list. It got bumped <laughs> all the way up because I need to watch. I need to read this before I watch the series. But I I like that it chronicles four generations of the family, you know, immigrating to America. Like that that that's going to be fun to watch. We saw movies like this um, already being told. Like Tiger Tail is a really good one. Mm -hmm. Tiger um, Tiger um, Tail is a really good story. Yeah, that, that, you, that, that one got right the here. feels. Yeah, that one, that one, that one. Well, I mean, it's got Tai Ma in it, and anytime he says anything, I just like if it's not comedy, if it's dramatic, I'm crying. He just is really good at making me cry. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, Blade GTR says, I just noticed Wendy's sweater and I approve. Wild Stallion. Wild Stallion. Wait, oh, I'll show you this. So you guys probably saw this in an unboxing. But oh, yeah. See. Wendy has all of the tour dates on her back, but they're like different time periods. Yeah. Ancient Greece. I really, really like this one. Uh, yeah. So this it's super exciting. And I and I just wanted to kind of shout that out because of my my love for leaving whole. Mimi Ho is great. <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, da, 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 quick, quick bit of news. Uh, news. I said that weird. Um, Debbie wrote that uh, the Shang Chi announced on Instagram that they have wrapped filming. Woohoo! They're done. Awesome. Yeah, so exciting. Um, and in other news, Quibi bites the dust, guys. Uh, I don't have a, I don't have a graphic for this. So wow! Just... Who saw that one coming? <laughs> As you drink tea. So appropriately on theme so <laughs> only six months after its launch quibi is shutting down the streaming service served up quick uh quick bites basically five to ten minute chapters of and it's formatted for smartphone screens and has actually a lot of hollywood a-listers involved in it and, and mm -hmm. kendrick being one of them um, um sophie turner uh liam hemsworth so many more that I cannot remember right now, but in an open letter to employees and investors, founder Jeffrey uh, Katzenberg and chief executive Meg uh, Whitman said, quote, our failure was not for lack of trying. And then, quote, we've considered and exhausted every option available to us. So they decided to shut down the company in an effort to return as much capita, uh, capital to investors as, as possible instead of trying to prolong the life of the company and lose and risk losing more money. And this is all according to Wall Street Journal. So what happened? What happened with Quibi? I think one of the major factors is that you're coming into an oversaturated, successful market. Yes. A, a very successful platforms with stronghold on this platform, Netflix, 
Apple TV, it's newer, but it's going strong, right? Hulu, been here for a long time. HBO, been here for a long time. And then Disney Plus came came in. That was, that was we knew it was going to be a success because they 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 already had all the content planned that are like people are going to want to see this you put the mandalorian in for your very first like kind of premiere it's like sold right yeah exactly subscribe. peacock came along i don't even know what else is there there's still youtube and all these other other smaller streaming like or you know whether it's casual chatting kind of like this streaming streaming stuff or or gameplay and things like that so they're coming into an oversaturated market then the pandemic happened where people are tightening their purse strings that was one of the reasons why we didn't sign up for Quibi. Yeah. $4.99 for, for small bites where we're just kind of like, but we're already and subscribed to everything else. Nothing really that made me go, oh, I really got to watch this. Amazon this Prime, sorry. really yes. fun kind Amazon of thing. Amazon Prime is another one. Um, so I feel like, yeah, it was one of those. And honestly, if, you, if you're going to be putting out content, don't really limit it. You know, I mean, they're like, oh, it's only in these 10 little bites. People are going to watch what they want to watch, whether it's like they if they only get like 10 minutes into it, they'll pause it and they'll come back to it kind of a thing. So I think they kind of put themselves into a box when they really needed to do was really try to break out of that box and be able to try new things. But if you're like, no, 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 it's only 10 minutes long then you're stuck with 10 minute long videos. If you wanted to get into bigger, longer videos, if you wanted to do more content, if you wanted to do something, you're now restricted into that little gimmick that you have. Mm -hmm. So I personally think that, yeah, with, here's the thing though. True, people are tightening their purse strings with um, COVID, but you're also getting people who want to see more content. Yes. Because so it kind of I would think that those two things kind of balance out, especially with something as cheap as like four ninety nine a month. So whereas you know Netflix is like, how much is Netflix now? I Netflix. Oh, it's, it's like eight ninety nine, right? Nine ninety nine. It's like nine ninety nine for like, oh yeah, or like twelve ninety nines. HBO is a little What's bit more expensive. HBO is fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. To, so a four ninety nine price tag, isn't that bad? Um, I just don't think that they were, they had enough things to actually get people super interested. Mm-hmm. Even like what is it when you have YouTube, um, YouTube Red with Cobra Kai? Right. That is something people went nuts over, but mm-hmm. it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to raise it up. And Quibi didn't have even anything on the level of Cobra Kai. To bring that that we know of because it's it's like well and I think if they did, people would have been talking about it. True. People would have been been you know, anytime someone made fun of Quibi, then like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But did you see this? This was really good. Go and I've check it out. I've actually gotten people to tell so, some people tell me that a lot of the content was good, but it still wasn't just enough for me to sign up because we're signed up to Hulu, Netflix, we have Disney Plus, we have Amazon, we have the Prime Studio, Netflix, did I say already? Apple TV, that's like, it's it's a lot to handle, especially yeah. in a pandemic, like where you really have to have to watch. So ultimately we didn't go for Quibi. And I think a lot of people were in the same boat, kind of did the same thing. They're already subscribed to 50 million other things. So like, you know. And also, uh, oh shoot, no, I had a point, but I completely forgot what it was. Um, what is it? Peacock. Peacock came out, but that's also free. Isn't is it? it? I think Peacock is free. Like cable? at least the first month is free. Well, they're all thing. first month is free. Isn't <laughs> they're it? all first month is free. But yeah, so, cancel quickly before the 30 days is up. <laughs> quickly. And you know, so Quibi had an interesting, you know, had a very interesting road that they would have to travel and in order to be successful. It's interesting because uh as an actor, like I saw a lot of breakdowns for Quibi shows. Oh. Like like I think I auditioned for a couple of them. Can't say which ones. Uh, but I remember doing that. So I hope like for you know obviously when a company has to shut down feel bad for 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 the employees because yeah. they you know now now they're out of a job feel bad for any actors that had booked stuff and wasn't able to film due to the pandemic and now they probably won't get to film it yeah unless they're shopping those content ideas to other to elsewhere which which would be the best if is that they can continue to shoot it and then shop it elsewhere kind of be, be released from the contract from Quibi and then release it so so we will see, but that, but that, I, I felt like we, we saw it coming. Yeah. With, with Quibi, like from the beginning, I just, I just didn't have. It was interesting, but I wasn't interested enough. You know, um, a lot of you guys are talking about. Uh, let's see. Oh, Peacock. So Peacock has a free level. There's a paid version with commercials, 
uh, and not with commercials, but the, there's a level that's free. I have it. Well, I mean, I download the free one. Yeah. And also that's kind of like what you, in today's market, what you kind of have to do, you have to give them the taste of it being free yeah. to where, yeah, you have commercials, but then once they're there, they're like, you know, okay, I want to see more of these shows. And mm -hmm. then you get the opportunity to take out the commercials. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And Quibi was, I think Quibi for the most part was just, no, you have to pay the $4.99. I it. think in the very beginning, there were like 30 days free, but it was only like this amount of time. And they didn't, I, I don't believe, I could be wrong because I never signed up. I don't believe that they extended that, that like free trial past the very beginning, like in April or something like that. Yeah. So, so long, Quibi. It was, it was, it was nice not it was, knowing it you. Was, oh, <laughs> in the shade. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to our next topic. We're talking about Scarlett Johansson, you guys. Uh, so Scarlett Johansson is uh, set to star in Bride. So Bride is a riff on the classic character Bride of Frankenstein. And here's the log line for Bride. It, uh, it is, a woman created to be an ideal wife, the singular obsession of a brilliant entrepreneur, rejects her creator and is forced to flee her confined existence, confront the world that sees her as a monster, and it is on the run. Uh, uh, it is on the run that she finds her true identity, her surprising power, and strength to re to remake herself as her own creation. Hmm. What do we think of uh? kind of the the overall theme for bride i think that's cute i think it's kind of a, a fun yeah More modern. Break, break free of the mold don't let the man conf um, conform you to their idea of society kind of thing it's funny when i first read it um in the very beginning a woman created to be an ideal wife all i thought was step for life yes i was like oh they're like like the robots mm -hmm. you know uh this is it's it's interesting i uh i i'm I like it because I like I like that she's in it. I, mm -hmm. I think um and that's why I kind of picked the photo because it reminded me of like the sideway view of the like you know, you imagine like Bride Bri of Frankenstein her hair. Mm -hmm. Like it kind of reminded me of that and she's just so pretty. Uh <laughs> um and this this is an interesting, more modern take. Um, and I like that that, that she has to confront the world where they see her as a monster because she's not like born of like the natural way. She was, yeah, she yeah, was yeah, yeah. Manufactured, creator, how, however she was created. We don't really even know exactly how they're doing that. Are they doing like the classic what, lightning? I thing, think if or? they're doing um, a spoof off of Bride of Frankenstein, mm -hmm. I guess they're either going to be trying to make her from like, she's like, what is that called? A test tube baby? Ah, my wife. Sorry, I had to. Sorry, Ranja. <laughs> <laughs> either she's like a test tube baby or she is somehow like, pro like half like half machine half human mm. um but yeah they're definitely like they said they're really going to be going for like the frankenstein element on this so yeah. i'm curious to see how they actually do spin this and it sounds like fun it sounds like it's going to one scarlett johansson she's yes. amazing in whatever she does even in movies that are end up being a little eh <sighs> she's still really good in them and uh Movie, uh, movie. I will keep on to say movie couple when I want to say movie bunch. Movie bunch. Debbie writes that um, she is producing this as well, and also that this is uh, going to be the latest feature in partnership for Apple a and A twenty four. And you have my attention right there oh, with A twenty four. I Wendy's love a big fan of A twenty four. A twenty four and Annapurna is like so 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 good. I I love it. So I'm very I'm very excited about this. Ooh, super chat. Super Thank chat you. from Marvin Martin. Thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, Marvin writes. Usually the creature is either sweet but picked on or fight back and then are monsters. Proof the script is written by a bully. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sweet but picked on, fights back or a monster. So you're being bullied either way. So yeah. either way, it's, you yeah. Can, it's a lose-lose lose lose situation. Lose. That sucks. That that sucks. But yeah, looking very much looking forward to um, how this is going to play out. Uh, when when you when you add A24, I'm like, you yes, sold. So it's definitely going to have some dark undertones to it. Yeah, and they don't they don't mess around on you know with with A24 films. Like it's it's usually well thought out. The writing's great. Acting's obviously going to be great. So very excited about that. And uh, moving on to our final topic before we play a couple of rounds of the blockbuster game, we're going to uh, take a look at. Thank you so much, Marvin, for your super chat. Thank you so much, dude. We are going to take a look at. Hey, it's Tom Holland. <laughs> Baby Tom Holland, baby, Na baby Nathan Drake. So uh, you almost said it too. I know, I know. You I almost know. slipped up. <laughs> it's hard, okay. <laughs> We've been wanting Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake for years. All right, so 
Tom Holland posted to his social media a photo of himself as Nathan Drake with the caption, it's nice to meet you, I'm Nate. And he's dressed in his, the very familiar Nathan Drake getup. It's a cream color long sleeve top, uh, cargo pants. And there's also another photo that was released of Nolan North, who is the original voiceover actor for Nathan Drake, talking with Tom Holland when he visited the set. So this is what we know so far, according to IGN. There's a art, great article on there if you want to go ahead and read it. So we know that um, the film will be a prequel to the Uncharted series of the video games with a young Nate Drake accompanied by a young Victor Sullivan played by Mark Wahlberg. Whoa. Okay. Didn't know that part until I read it just now. And perhaps we will see them investigating the travels and discovery of mm-hmm. Magellan? Magellan? Can you, can you point to it? Right here. Oh, Ma- oh, Magellan. Magellan. Oh, God. Sorry. This is what it happens when you don't second. play enough video games, huh? Only play the... <laughs> okay, anyways. Uh, so, yeah. The... Uh, this is this is really exciting because I did not think that we were going to get to see an image of Tom Holland as Nathan Drake. And I remember seeing it on Twitter on the day it was released because it, it was trending. It, it was all up. over the place. I was scrolling down the thread and a lot of people media was like, oh, small kid energy. He's He looks way too young. He just looks like Tom Holland in a Nathan Drake costume, this and that. And I was thinking... Yes, he does look quite young because Tom Holland is about twenties, mid twenties. Um, yeah, I, I, mid to early twenties. We'll look it up. He's really but honestly he's really young. that was actually a concern that I had too when I first saw it. A part of me was kind of like, oh, it's a, twenty-four years. It's old. a little baby. Yeah, it's a little bit a baby Nathan. Baby, yeah, baby Nathan, and and I thought, well, it wouldn't make sense that he's playing later nathan who is obviously as you can tell by like fissure and everything much older so then i actually clicked on the article that was attached to it and i read it and it indeed said young nathan drake as a prequel in you know as seeing in a prequel of of so basically the film is a prequel to all the video games yeah which makes sense and if tom holland like kind of how they do this with most hollywood blockbuster movies and with a with a franchise like nathan drake slash uncharted you would probably want to sign Tom Holland on for multiple deals, just like he probably has done for Spider-Man. Yeah. So we will get to see Tom Holland age with the character, just like we did with Harry Potter characters. Very true. We saw them grow up. And that is something that I am a little excited for, mm-hmm. is that they are planning ahead. And they're actually like, okay, we don't want to make this just a one-and-done uh, video game movie. Yep release they're mm-hmm. planning on okay how can we turn this into a franchise how can we make it so the story does progress and then go into the stories that we know and love from the video games so they're planning ahead so i'm hoping <sighs> fingers crossed don't mess this up because this is uncharted like i i feel like i say this with all the video games like don't mess up tomb raider don't mess up detective pikachu or you know because like it's kind of video game yeah, yeah yeah don't mess up sonic the hedgehog I actually quite liked Sonic the Hedgehog a lot. Yeah. On, honestly, that was a really Sonic fun Sonic the Hedgehog was, it came off pretty good. But Uncharted, it kind of writes on that. There's so much, like, what was it? Assassin's Creed? The the film oh with Michael God. Fassbender? Didn't didn't care didn't care for it. Still thought the game was 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 much better. And people are like, well, you got to play the game. It's kind of like, you got to play the game to understand the movie. And it, I, I don't agree with that i feel like there's going to be audiences that know of assassin's creed because it is a popular video game Mm -hmm. but probably have not played it themselves thoroughly and have played through all the iterations did you expect all audiences to sit down and play through all the games to understand a film like that's not and that's what's actually a good with what they're it seems like which what with what with what they're going for is actually mm-hmm. a probably a good start is that you can actually tell a story that not everyone is super connected to you don't know exactly what's going to happen besides obviously he's not going to die <laughs> because you know that there's so much more that they're going to do um when you do a prequel <laughs> But to kind of be able to start off your own story, to kind of be like, okay, here, let's kind of take, uh, let's start at this point in the timeline so that we can kind of direct the narrative a little bit better. Yeah. So, and then, yeah, and then um, Tom Holland can grow with it. And I think it's, I think they're on a good track. Yes. Yes. I think they're, they're on a good track. I think starting it off, not just right where the the video game starts but they're going back a little bit can probably help them too because if they want to 
mix up things a little bit and not follow exactly the video game storyline, maybe by establishing young Nate Drake, this can kind of help them shape the story in the way they want to. I don't know how well that's going to sit with video game fans. Yeah. Because you're a game, you're when you're a fan of gaming franchise, you know, as popular as Uncharted, and as like, how many Uncharted? How how long has this game been around? A long time. It's been, it's been going strong for a pretty long time. Yeah, and people still will play it till 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 today. They'll still pick up like the very first version of it if they can, and uh, and and play it. So, like that's I think with any video game movies, that's very expansive and has uh, you know different iterations. You got to be as the writer really, really careful with where you take that story. And if you're going to make it different, then maybe make it so drastically different that you can't compare it to the video game. Yeah. You know, I and, think that's the way they're going to have to do it. And someone else mentioned it too in the chat that it, um, people are going to compare this to Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Debbie. <laughs> um, but, and honestly, I think that's the vibe that they really have to go for on this. Mm -hmm. Kind of just make... Um, a young kind of Indiana Jones story to where it connects to the video games. You get this fun, exciting adventure started, yep. and then you can start adding, sprinkling in stuff from the video games more and more. Yeah. So I'm very curious, like I've just said, I'm, just, I'm very curious on how they're going to take this. Um, but I know one, Tom Holland is an amazing actor. Yes. Oh yeah. That's, that's a great point. Cause that's another thing. It was kind of like, Oh, that's, that's just Spider-Man. And he can't, he can't do what Nathan Drake does. And I don't, I can't imagine him beating up people. And I'm like, have you watched the devil all the time? Devil all if the time. If you haven't, you should. Yeah. If you, if you guys have seen him in devil all the time, he is really, he does a good <sighs> job in that movie. Wow. Talk like this acting. <laughs> we are acting. Mm -hmm. it's like it's, it's, I mean the overall, the cast, phenomenal in that film uh not the most easy watch no it's a little it's a, it's little, a tough. little hard to swallow but it's like if you're into like if you you want to sit down and watch actors really really expertly showing off their craft this is it if you're still not convinced that rob pattinson can act watch this movie if yep. no one if none of his other acting <laughs> if, if you stop that twilight move forward to devil all the time and watch him in it fantastic he'll creep you out it's so good all right you guys um thank you so much for uh, let's actually check in with the chat okay and see what they're saying and then we'll get into idea. our game um of a blockbuster well and it's also kind of tough too because when we one we have our own thoughts and opinions about this and then we're trying to also occasionally glance over at the chat we're like talking we're like okay me, I'm not able to talk and read at the same time. It it's is not easy. Physically, it is an impossibility. I have a, I have a hard time just reading. <laughs> so being able to catch things in the chats as they scroll by super fast. It's not but easy. But there's, I mean, I love seeing what you guys think because yes. it's just this great conversation back and forth. And a great point by Blade GTR who writes, I'm just wondering if normal audience uh audience goers will compare this to Indiana Jones. Ah uh, yes, that's that's and Lara Croft. Mm -hmm. And, La and Lara Croft. Lara Croft. Lara Croft. Lara Croft. And honestly, that's what a lot of moviegoers will do. Mm -hmm. They're like, "Oh, this is so much like such and such. Oh, this reminds me of this." It's going to happen for every single movie that you put out there. Yeah. So what you have to do is make it so people true. Oh, this was a lot like an, a young Indiana Jones, but I loved how they did this. And I love the story that they told mm -hmm. to make it to where when they say it reminds them of this, it's mm -hmm. not a negative. Yeah. As, as opposed to them, maybe some audience members going, well, that was kind of like a Indiana Jones ripoff. Yes. Kind of a thing. Yeah. Make it so it's more like, oh, that was like, so, that reminded me so much of all the good things from Indiana Jones. Yeah, but it's a, it's a different story, obviously different character. So just because they're scavenging and looking for clues and, and raiding tombs doesn't doesn't make it Indiana Jones. Like Indiana Jones is very much its own thing, as as is Uncharted slash Nathan, Nathan Drake's, as well as Lara Croft. Mm -hmm. um, and if this movie does well, if they if they get this first one and it's so, so, so good and we move on to the next one, this opens a door for a slew of other video game movies. And I saw a lot in, in the chats too. Um, Mass Effect. Yes. The Last of Us, who according to uh, Pei K, who is in the chat, welcome. Um, they are also making The Last of Us for HBO. Would love oh. that. Would love that for, for just quality content. And The Last of Us is uh, hbo is 
a perfect place yeah. for The Last of Us. Yep. Because that has some gruesome moments. How many times do you think people, as they talk about Nathan Drake, will say Nathan Fillion instead? Because I've seen people do it in the chat too. Well, they, yeah, they yeah, don't. It's, nope, it happens, you know? It Especially does happen. Especially when oh, for so long we wanted Nathan Fillion. It's just the fact that it just wouldn't. Oh. What? Marvin has a really good point. Thank you for your super chat, Marvin. You realize we root for people to diss the dead and grave rob? I mean, he's not wrong. No, no. They all do it. And we willingly watch it. Yep. We and watch we, all of them. We willingly get excited about it. We play it. the game. We're like, yeah, dig it out. I want to be like this. Skeleton, bruh, disrespect the dead. We don't care. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, you guys. That's a that's a nice uh, break into uh, our our to segue into our blockbuster game. Should have set blockbuster. this up. Blockbuster. Blockbuster game. Thank you so much for everybody who have donated today. Thank to you so much for our all your super, super chat. chat. Thank you so much. So. Starting off, we are going to do a head-to-head -head round with Rasumi and Dustin. Which I'll probably lose again. Oh, well, you don't know that. Well, wait a second. Which one's... Oh, the head-to-head -head round is the... The back-and-forth um, one. The back-and-forth one. Yeah. Now, isn't that... Uh, uh, is kids. it these cards? No, it's a different one. It's, oh. in, it's in there. We got to pick out one of the, one of the other cards. Yeah. So many uh, cards. Yeah, Did we shuffle I mean, these from no. last time? We have not. Would you like to do the honor? Okie dokie. The honor. I don't know why I'm putting on an accent. It's so stupid. Because it's fun. Honestly, that's part of the fun of just talking with your friends and being silly. It's just, you know, every now and again, you kind of... Pinky in the brain? Kind of do a pinky in the brain. I love, I'm so excited that Animaniacs brain, is guys. coming back with pinky in the brain. I've got to admit, I mean, I, I am now just... What is it? It's we're When is it coming out again? Is, is it in November? Uh, November 20th. November 20th. November 20th cannot come fast enough. I know. And what's cool is one of the... Oh, I got to go to the comments. See if I can find it real quick while you're shuffling. Shuffle, shuffle. One of the um, character designers from WB watched our trailer reaction. Really? Yeah. I was like, oh, what's that? So cool. That is always a little trippy when you have people who are... Um, like involved in a project that you're watching, like that we either reviewed or like, what is it? When we were doing our live stream yeah, of, right here. Um, what, which live stream was it? That it someone was, was like, it's so DC weird. It was during DC Fandom. Yeah, 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 it was, yeah. It was, it was during DC Fandom. Um, this is uh, uh, artist uh, Len, I'm going to say his last name wrong. I'm so sorry. Len Kirali. And uh, he said, uh, God, uh, God y'all liked it. I, mean, I think he said, good, y'all liked it. I hope we stick around too. Can't wait for everyone to see. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> thanks len nice little shout out love that for us uh yeah how are we doing on the shuffling almost there i'm pretty much i mean honestly on here do, 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 do. we didn't really play that many to begin with no so i'll shuffle as well i'm not good at shuffling but i'll shuffle as well so uh we will do the head-to-head -head round um between the two of us and you guys can just watch us mess up and and uh yell at us in the comment section because <laughs> we're not able to think of the answer and this is why this is why you and I don't do showdown. No, 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 no. There's so many people out there. Our recall memory is terrible. I know, and, and and honestly, at it's not just during the showdown that I would be like, oh, no, let me do it. It'd be afterwards where I would beat myself up, oh, going, I knew the answer to that. Why didn't I? Why oh, wasn't it? Of your tongue, and you can't say it. And then afterwards, like two minutes later, you're, when the pressure's off, you're like, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh cool okay so head to head we pick a card uh -huh. and it'll say for example movies with boats and then we'll go back and forth do you want to pick it all right here we go i'm not going to pick the one from the top i'm going to pick one okay. from cut the, the deck. middle cutting okay. the deck all right ladies and gentlemen and then our head to head movies with oh, a breakup that's terrible you want to go first movies with a breakup um sure well, this is going to be a really fast round yeah then. same because i don't know um, like, we might have to pick a second card later okay okay so okay so i have to push the button um movies with a breakup so that would be how about the breakup oh is there a movie called, <laughs> There's the, breakup? A movie called the breakup okay Oh, the notebook because they did break up at a point in the notebook. Oh, very true. Um, how about? Okay, I got one. Oh, you do? Great. Well, I don't because um, I suck at this movie. Um, I guess. Oh man, I, I suck at this game. Uh, we'll pick a different card. That's a hard topic. Yeah, I'm out. Okay. And once again, I lose. No. But I, well, we're just what playing. There's I no. Like we're Adam. not keeping score. At Romeo and Juliet. Technically, the is there? Oh. Did they break up? 
They well, I was wondering if technically if he broke up with Ooh, Rosaline. Okay. Look, where, oh, to, there's also how to lose a guy in, in ten days. In 10 day. See, as soon the as the last time's holiday, gone, look at look at everybody putting in MK and Adam when Harry and and and, and Pei K. Harry meets Sally. Mrs. Doubtfire, there's a breakup in. Well, the parents are split. Oh yeah, there's a divorce. Yeah. So yeah, oh I guess Eternal I Sunshine, Five Hundred Days of Summer. Oh, the last holiday. Uh, Do you want to try a different one? Yes, let's try one more. Maybe I won't be. T- How about this one? You choose. Okay. My luck on this is terrible. Da-da-da-da-da, this one. Watch it be like a terrible one. Ready? Mm-hmm. The topic is <laughs> movies where they play a game. <laughs> <laughs> Movies where they play a game. I got it. Jumanji. Jumanji. Okay, so okay, so now I hit it. Um well technically wouldn't Saw wouldn't they be kind of playing a I game in play. Saw? I, I want to play, play a game. game. Uh you have to hit they, the button. Where they, uh a league of their own. Oh, oh like that's a good one. Now you can get into sports movies. Heck yeah. I um can. I guess we can go with the rookie. Okay. Um game night. Um um what is it called um 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 oh you already said a league of their own so i'm gonna pick um how come i can't think of see this is what happens i get in my head too much what were you thinking i was trying to think of another oh. baseball movie oh major rookie league year oh uh, yeah there's the rookie Fe- um yeah field of dreams wreck it ralph wreck it oh my gosh that whole thing is a game <laughs> nerve oh that's a good one the natural Seven Remember the seal. Titans. I was gonna say tag. Tag. Tag is such a fun movie. That's they're playing the game throughout the entire movie. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that was head to head. The last Starfighter. Oh my Ooh, wizard. Wizard. Dang. Oh my gosh. See, that's the thing. It's wizard. like I should have known that. I should have known those movies, and I should have had that. But my recall memory, I get so yeah. stuck in my brain. So young blood, keep them coming, guys. All right. So the next segment, we will um actually. We're gonna have them have you guys guess what we see on the card. Okay. Want to do that? Okay. okay. I think that's good. So here, so I will pick. Okay, mm-hmm. so we pick one of each. Yep. Okay. Now, what is it? We have to pick. It's one word. It's one word. A quote. A quote. A quote or a hint. Uh, like a maybe like a one sentence thing because they they said if you don't know the exact hint, you can kind of like say something similar to it. Oh. And then and okay. then acting it out is the third one. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Always in. Want to do one from each category? We've already, I, I shuffled these. I'm almost... Okay, here. I'm going to pick... Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. <laughs> we had that. How come it's like I'm picking the ones that we... Okay, fine. I'll do this one. Okay. I think we did this one, so I'm going to put it back. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I got an orange oh, one. No, I did Oh, I was going to... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm good. Okay. You want to go first? Sure. All right. So... All right. And you can tell them what this is on, like, what category it is. Okay. So, the one that I picked up for this category, the category of heart warmers. Aww. So, um... Okay. So, I'm going to have to try and do this. Let's see here. How about, like... <laughs> All right, Patrick. It's actually not bad. <laughs> I, that's that's my attempt at this character's voice. <laughs> Honestly, I have to admit, I don't watch a lot of these, but yeah. I have. Um, it's pretty. <laughs> 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 Adam says goats. That's kind of sound like that would that would be the screaming goat. The <gasps> <laughs> we had. Uh, oh, where did Kevin's quote go? Kevin got it from uh, Twitch. You wrote SpongeBob. That is absolutely correct. SpongeBob. What is the happening mo- out the, there? The SpongeBob movie. Someone's raking leaves outside. They're just cleaning up. You know, it's fall, so there's lots of leaves out there these days. All right, all right. My turn. Your category is from another world, and your. I'm gonna try to think of a quote. Uh ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, we had this one. Oh, we did? I think we had this okay, one last then I won't, week. Okay, then I won't do it. I think we had that I'll one last different. week. I'll do it. You're because right. what is it? You were like, I rebel. Oh, duh. Yeah, okay. It was Rogue One. Okay, we did that one too. How? I shuffled these. One too. I shuffled these. Okay. Oh, the, uh, no, I did that one too. What the heck? How did you? We did that too. Okay, this is good. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, do that one. Do that one. Uh. Okay. 
so the category is still from another uh, world. And I'm going to act this one out, but I have sound effects. Ready? I guess you can do that one. The I'm sound effects are important. Oh, There's yeah. There's a reason why I did that. I'm trying to think of a good quote from that movie, the movie though, because it's true, but which... Um... Yes, true. So, oh, whoa. Okay. See, Kevin from Twitch said Spider-Man. And then I was like, well, it is kind of in that universe genre. And then Stardew coming in hat with try typing it really fast <laughs> i do the same thing uh 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 where's my card I, trying to quickly type it spider -Man out spider-man into the spider-verse is the correct Woo! film congratulations sarju people put venom pk wrote holy crap i just noticed your hoodie wow, wow stallion! Stallion! be excellent i have the face mask too okay uh, okay, so my turn, turn, right? Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna pick out. Oh wait, why no, is I... all the things missing? This is the discard pile. That's the green discard Oops. pile. What are you? What are you? What's happening? I'm making a mess. That's what's all. Happening? That's what I do well here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. okay. All right. Go ahead. All right. So wait, let me take this off so we can take. What... Oh, okay. I see. Half a point for you, Kevin, watching from Twitch. Okay. So once again, I'm trying to think of like, a. I always want to do quotes. Okay. Quotes are always like my favorite thing to do in the game, but they said a quick description. Uh, a quote? A quote. Or maybe a, uh, like a, if you could describe something in a sentence or mm. acting it out. Or acting it out. Um, see, uh, what do you think? Oh, well, this is your turn. I know, but I'm, I'm always going blank on these. Um, I mean, you can, you can describe it. All right. So, um, let's see here. We do have this. Oh, so this is from the genre, not for kids. And this would be a very popular comic book character that is not for kids. I think that keeping it on that one and also, you know, so he, so I want to see if you guys can get it from that. Um, I'm trying to think of a good quote, but oh, I like Star Drews, but unfortunately, that is not what was your what was your hint? I um, uh, mine was uh, the category is not for kids, and this is a comic book movie. Oh, you haven't given the hint yet, not for kids. Oh, so but. Um, I want to see what some people, some of the. What suggestions... about if you describe something specifically that he's he it, it's wearing? Um, that he says. Oh yeah, um, I wear I wear red so my opponents can't see me bleed. So the bad guys can't see me bleed. Mm -hmm. But yes, now now actually... they're gonna know. Yeah, David David got it. Oh no, Debbie got it. Nope, Kevin even got it. Even before that, even before MK that, MK got that. Oh, got even it. before that, Adam got it. Going backwards, nicely done, you guys. Woo! Nicely done. All right, All right. One more. This one is from the category of remakes and reboots. Remakes and reboots and your uh, clue. I know it's supposed to be one word, but it's going to be two word because I want to say the actress. Uh, Sersha. Sersha. Oh, I can just say Sersha. 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 That's the that, word. That is your one word hint in the category of remakes and reboots. And this came out in the most recent, like last year. Yeah, there's actually been a couple of those. Sersha, Sersha. That have been um, made and rebooted. And it's one of those movies that you- Oh! oh. Whoa, I didn't think people were gonna get it. MK Songbird coming in hot with Little Women. Excellent job, guys. Wow. Should we do just one more? You want, If you wanna do one more, let's go ahead do, and draw uh, one more. Let's do one more. Where are the blue cards go? I don't know. We'll organize them all later. Okay, we'll do from another world because that seems like fun. Don't know that one. How am I going to do that one? <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. I'm going to act this one out. I'm going to stand on my chair or oh. stand on my chair like this. <laughs> and so your uh, this is from the category from another world. And this is your acting clue. <laughs> yeah. and the fact that you're little it works you have to get the there we go 
Okay. Close. Close. Blade, you're really, really close. Starju, you're really, really, really close. Oh, wait. MK Song forgot it. He didn't type out the whole thing, but he wrote Loga. Loga. Loga, think... which means Logan. And also point to Kevin. Some people said, yeah, I should have done the claws. <laughs> <laughs> Shink. Shink. <laughs> yeah. That was that was it. Yay. I like that we also kind of got Black Panther and Wonder Woman because it kind of is <laughs> kind of like that. Should have done the claws in the beginning, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. Uh that is going to wrap up our uh quick gameplay for today. We will do a little bit more of it next Saturday on our next live stream. So thank you so much for hanging out with us and watching us act a fool, giving you guys clues. But that's what's kind of fun about like doing doing all this, you know, live stream and stuff. Um, I gotta go ready and uh get my fancy new haircut. If you follow us on uh social media, then you will probably get to see photos of the new haircut because most likely is what I'm going to post about <laughs> later on today. So thank you all so much for hanging out and playing the game with us and uh, having an awesome conversation about oh, movies. We, did, we were also thinking of rescheduling our um, live streams. Oh, yeah. Let's this see. is something um, Wendy and I did put up. Um, did you put up a the, poll, a poll mm -hmm. up on our Facebook to where we want to find out the best time for Good you guys? Call, because we were noticing that from some of our... Um, viewers that some people were more active earlier in the day yes. and some people were more active later at night so we want to find out what is the best time for all of you because we want to get as many of you here as possible to be a part of our movie bunch yes. so head on over to our facebook page no and it's not it's just on youtube head on over to our youtube page on the community tab on the community tab and take a part of this survey um probably we won't change the day uh the time uh, if we do yeah, we're not changing Until the day, but we're, we're Saturday. keeping the day and change, possibly changing the time. We won't change anything about, well, it is Wednesday. Well, Wednesday, I think, well, Wednesday we'll keep it at the same time and Saturday we'll keep it at the same time. So we have enough time to actually see what people think. Yes. But then. It's so itchy. What happened? There's like something, you know how sometimes there's like a loose string? Like, is it the itchy fabric? Or no, is the it... fabric is super comfy, but it's the seam, I think. Anyways, but we want to find out what works out best for you guys, because the more the merrier. Yes. So don't forget to head on over to our YouTube channel and check out the community tab and take a part of the survey so we can make so you can make your voice heard. Yeah. And your vote counts. <laughs> right now, 50% um, of you voted to keep at the same time, which is 2 p.m. PT to 3 p.m. PT. The other two options are 12 p.m. PT to 1 p.m. PT or 1 p.m. PT to 2, t 2 p.m. PT. Or suggest a different time in the comment section. So uh, let us let us let us know what you think. It's on the community tab, and that's it. Thank you so much, you guys. We will see you on Wednesday for another live stream. And then if there's a time change and stuff like that, sorry, we'll let you know. We'll let you guys know. All right, you guys. We love you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Go vote.